Hey everybody, it's Danny again. Um, today we're going to cover B5. Um, I've been accused of blabbing too much on my prior video. And uh, somebody left a comment that I talk too much and I really should just get down to playing. So we're going to try and cut out as much chit chat as possible and get right into playing. Um, B5 today is going to be based off of the very first video I put on YouTube which is the most basic beat that you can possibly do. If you've not seen that video, um, that beat basically is hi-hat and bass on beat one, or note one, one, hi-hat on two, two, hi-hat and snare on three, three, and hi-hat on four, four, and then it starts all over again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's the basic beat. I mean, it really, really doesn't get any easier than that. What we're going to do today on beat five is the first measure of this beat where you're going to start out with um, your hi-hat and your bass on beat one, hi-hat two, hi-hat and snare three, but on your hi-hat for four, you're going to add the bass drum and you're going to do your bass drum on hi-hat one as usual. So your bass drum is going to be on one, four and one and then after that it's going to be on four and one until you do a fill or you, you change your beat style or whatever the case may be so basically it's going to sound kind of like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one and and that's really all there is to it um a lot of songs actually use that beat a lot of songs you probably never even paid attention to that you know that, that have used that beat. Um, Pearl Jam kind of goes into that, like uh, Wishlist, they, they use that beat. Um, it, it might be tough to tell if you listen to that song because there really isn't much other than a hi-hat, a snare, and a bass drum. There's not like really any fills in that song. Um, a little half open snare, kind of, I mean hi-hat but there really isn't any fills in that song at all. So if you listen to that song and uh, you listen to it critically, you'll see that, that after the three, you have your four one. So uh, it, it's really an easy beat. Like I said, a lot of tunes use it and uh, it's something cool to practice with. It just kind of adds to your beat repertoire, which, which is really what we're doing here for the beginner drummer. Um, so we'll kind of play it up to speed again and give you another sound kind of idea of what it's supposed to be like. So, um... Now, if you notice on that, when I was playing that, I skip every other measure, and I actually put the bass drum and the hi-hat on beat one, skipping the four, and on the next measure, I'll do the four and one in the beat. So you can do it either other way, it doesn't really matter, um, whatever works for the music as usual. Um, and really, that's all there is to it. So uh, any problems, complaints, threats, um, just let me know and I'll, I'll do the best I can to help you out. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate it.